let's talk about working out. Specifically, we're talking about lifting weights in a gym, that whole thing. And especially to the point when obviously you're changing your diet accordingly. Because you can go to the gym for an hour every day like I do and be lifting weights the entire time and doing everything right on that end. But if you're not eating right, if you're not changing your diet, and it's not a matter of simply not eating fast food anymore, not drinking soda anymore. It's a matter of you've got to completely scientifically change your diet because, and most people who weight train and work out will tell you, 80% of it is what you eat. 20% of it is what you do at the gym. So for me, all those years, I was doing nothing at the gym. I was running and I was mountain biking and things like that, but I wasn't doing anything to actually build muscle. I was basically doing cardio. And it's funny because today was the first day where after a whole entire hour of weight training in the gym, came home and I ran two miles. It was like 20 minutes. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to forsake my cardio. Let me at least make sure I got my 20 minutes in every day. Uh, because I do the sled every day, you know, but that's just a couple of minutes. I, I sprint with the, with the sled which makes my heart feel like it's going to explode, but it's not 20 minutes of prolonged cardio. So with that being said, yes, you, if you're like me and you're working out every day in a gym, you have to change how you eat. And so I feel like this, the sandwich, I feel like the sandwich is a status symbol. It's, it's a luxury almost. It's a matter of if you're the kind of person that can afford the calories of eating a sandwich, then Part of me envies you because I feel like I'm past that point in my life. I can't eat a sandwich anymore. I, here's why. So while my diet is very heavily focused on protein, typically when it comes to bread, unless it's Dave's killer bread or Ezekiel bread or something like that, I'm not going to eat it. Basically the only time I eat bread now is if we have one of those types of breads and my wife offers to make me avocado toast, which avocados full of good fats. It's important to, I've read a study that basically people who eat them every single day, a whole avocado every day, typically have lower fat content in the body. And I believe it. It's the right kind of fat for you from, from a plant. It, it makes a lot of sense in that situation. But that's not very often that I do that. Now, every day I do oatmeal. I do unsweetened oatmeal uh, with some fruit and nuts in there. Unsweetened. <laughs> but I, I'm not eating bread. The only greens I'm really getting for the most part is going with some rice, some rice pasta, but everyday oatmeal, that's pretty much my, my greens for the day. And my other carbohydrates are going to be sugar. That's my other, my other carbohydrates are going to be fruit, whole fruit, unsweetened fruit. So that's how my mind works. But just trying to think the anatomy of a sandwich. So we've got meat, which is probably going to be processed. And then you're going to want to have some cheese on there, right? So then you got the cheese on it and then you got the bread. And if you're doing that every day casually, like bread just comes with such a cost to me. So to think of eating a sandwich, that's just like a luxury. That's like such a, a thing. So like even at restaurants, I will not get sandwiches. I will not get a burger. For example, I think of Iron Man one where, uh, where he said, he comes out of the cave and you know, where he's trapped all the time. And he's like, first thing I want to do when I get back to the United States is get a, get a good American burger, which yes, a burger would be the epitome of sandwich overkill, you know, because then the meat's like fried and has extra fat in it. Now granted, I do eat red meat, but it's maybe once every two weeks. And for example, I would like, if I were to go to a restaurant, I would actually get a small steak. I would get a sweet potato and I would get broccoli and I would have a salad too. Like that's what I would eat. But Burgers I'm staying away from, but basically anything that's like a sandwich in my mind, I just can't really go there anymore because I think of that is the idea of everything against kind of this macro nutrient lifestyle that I'm now on in an effort to focus heavily on my protein and making sure I do get my carbohydrates, but that the right kind and making sure I'm getting my fats, but that they're the right kind. But really the focus is getting my protein. So yeah, I do a protein check every day that has 60 grams of protein. I think only 12 carbs. And uh, so I have that with some fruit, some unsweetened almond butter, peanut butter. Uh, and then every day at lunch, I have four eggs. And then I have a half a cup of unsweetened oatmeal with the, with the fruit and nuts that I mentioned. And then my wife makes like a dinner, but it's obviously very sensible and I have a big salad with that. So that's it. 
But the idea of a sandwich is just everything the opposite. It's like pizza. It's like everything the opposite. But at least pizza, I can get away with having a little bite every once in a while of like maybe my kid's pizza. But a sandwich is more of a of a commitment. That's that more of that's the meal. And I don't want to get into the habit of eating a sandwich. That's where I'm at. What do you have to say about that right here?